Right, in today's video reference for 7.4, we're going to move on with solving systems of linear uh, equations, but um, this time we're continuing elimination, but we're going to have to either uh, multiply or divide first. Um, so um, just kind of like we saw at the end of the Math by 5 video, some equations you have to just, um, they're not lined up perfectly with added inverses. Uh, so the uh, basically, like it says here, multiply. Oh, one or both equations by a constant so that adding or subtracting the equations will eliminate one of the variables. And then it's just back on to what we were doing uh, the last few days. So uh, if you look at this example here, the first one, um, it says multiply one of the equations and then add. So can tell me, someone tell me which equation would you uh, multiply to get either the x terms or the y terms to eliminate? Yeah, you probably, I was thinking of multiplying the second one by three. So uh, I might copy this down. I'm just going to put a, a whole thing in parentheses and a three on the outside. So I'll rewrite the first one, 6x plus 5y is 19. And then here, I'll multiply this by three. Uh, that will become 6x plus uh, 9y equals 15. Uh, technically, you could multiply that by a negative 3 if you wanted to, but um, it's all good. So I'll subtract. I'll subtract without changing any signs here, um, so without changing to addition, change of sign. So this will um, eliminate 5 minus 9 is negative 4y, and 19 minus 5 is, of course, 4. Uh, and then our final answer for y, you divide each side by negative 4, is just... Uh, negative 1. So then we'll do our back sub. Uh, I'll back sub it, I guess, into uh, the first equation here. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so when I back sub it, I'm left with 6x plus 5 times negative 1 equals negative 19. Negative 19. And then you add 5 to both sides. 6x equals, um, that would be, sorry, um, uh, sorry, I don't know where that negative came from. That's positive 19, that's 24. And so x is equal to uh, 4. So your final solution as a coordinate uh, would be uh, 4 comma negative 1. All right, let's move on to the next example. So this time, um, both equations, um, it says multiply both equations and then subtract. So let's see here. First of all, um, which one, if this is 1 and this is 2, needs to be changed into standard form? Yeah, the second one. So I'm going to minus 3x on both sides, minus 3x here. Sorry. Uh, and now my two equations are 4x plus 5y equals 35, and then negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 9. All right, so basically I want to either um, get the x's to cross out or eliminate or the y's. So if I think about common multiples, um, I could either make both of these 10s or maybe what could I make the x's? Uh, 12s, but I'll, I think I'll choose to make them 10s. So to do that, uh, can someone tell me what I'm going to multiply the first equation by? 2, and then I'll have to multiply this equation by 5. So my new equations will become um, 8x plus 10y equals 70. And then my second equation will become uh, negative 15x plus 10y equals negative 45. All right, so now I can subtract them. I think this time I'll change to addition and change the sign. So this would become a plus, a positive, a negative, and a positive. So that's going to give me here um, 23x. Sorry, the sun uh, this morning is quite strong where I'm sitting. Uh, 23x, this eliminates equals 115. 
divide each side by 23, and you're left with x equals 5. So now um, I'll pause the video. Could you back sub it in and to either equation and tell me what y was equal to? Yeah, if you back subbed it in, you probably got y equals to 3. Uh, and here's my work for that. Um, looks like it right here. So you can see if I take this x equals 5 and I back sub it there, uh, here's the work for that. It's 20 plus 5 y equals 35 minus 20 divided by 5 is 3. So your final solution is 5 comma 3. All right. I hope this helps get us started on today's lesson. Remind me next time I make this video not to do it in the sun. Uh, thank you.